Who's <laughs> Who's woman's? Somebody come get your woman's, bro. Oh my God. Today, we are finally finishing the Miata build. Before we get going, I have a question for you guys that I just want a simple answer in the comment section. I know the whole building in 10 minutes or whatever thing is getting kind of redundant, so I don't wanna offer that, but a lot of people have been curious about the cost to build a Miata. So, and the answer doesn't matter to me, but would you guys wanna see a cost breakdown slash comprehensive full build video going over all of the details on how much it costs. I could go up to like how much it costs to fix it and then I could go beyond that and how much it costs to build it. And this is 100% for you guys and your entertainment. I have so much content coming over the next month that I don't need to make it, but if enough people wanna watch it, I'll be happy to make it. Just go to the comment section and let me know yes or no. If you say no, like give me somewhat of an explanation as to why or else I'm just gonna think you're trying to be cute in the comment section. Let me know. But with that being said, this is my next week, okay? This is my next seven days. Evo eight will be painted. Signature wheels will be here, so make sure your notifications are on for my videos and you're subscribed still. Sometimes YouTube unsubscribes, it's like really dumb, but make sure you check that and you get notifications for that. So I'll be showing you my one of one Evan Shanks design wheels and that's gonna be so awesome. I'll be picking up and building the next giveaway car, starting that in the next week. The Miata will obviously be done, that's already done. The GTS will get tuned and the body kit will be finished up and sent off. The shop will be painted and we're getting our house garage floors done. Laticrete's coming, it's just like what I have in this garage but I think I'm gonna have to put, postpone it because I've got too much to do. <laughs> I've got too much to do in a little time. So, so let me know in the comments section if you wanna see a comprehensive build video on how much it costs to not only build it, but repair the Miata. Here we go, finishing up the Miata, let's go. <laughs> Dude, that just goes so hard. While these wheels are off and tires are getting mounted, I've got something I've gotta do today that I've been really looking forward to. Standard fender rollers are too big for cars like the Miata. Like even my Skyline, this fender roller is too tall to fit in the fender one. If you look at this, I really need to roll the fenders on my Evo 3 but I also have more suspension stuff to install on it too. I need to modify my fender roller today and I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. Thankfully, now that I got a bunch of tools, that should be no problem. We got Zor pulled up to the crib. Is that my boy Bernardo? What's up, sir? Hey, I got the heat on this shop for you today. <laughs> While they're doing that, let me show you exactly why we gotta shorten this. So this, I gotta try and make it not fall. This is as compressed as it can possibly go. Look. That roller's not anywhere near the freaking fender. I need it to be like two inches this way. So, what we're gonna do is cut about two inches off of here and about two inches off of that inside sleeve so I can compress it as far down as it goes. Let's see what we got. I haven't even seen the tires yet. We just got some good reliable old, old dailies. I told Jaren never drive this car in the rain. It's a Miata first off and two. It's like a stance car, so no sir. Yeah. Zor boys, get your tires done at your crib, son. Dallas, Kansas City, and Houston now. Hit them up. Take this and shorten it about the same amount as this did. That about there. There you go. So in a perfect world, this would work, but I've got to get something to keep it in place. So I found this little nut lying around. I've got to weld that onto this. So I can drill, I gotta drill a hole and then weld the nut onto that so I can keep it locked down. Boom, baby! <laughs> Super hella custom, but it works. That, that, 
that's that's good. I painted it black and it's probably not even gonna settle correctly and I don't give a heck. But look, we're like two inches shorter. That should work on the Miata now. All right, we are all mounted up and ready to go. Heart wheels got the the heart rims got the tires on them. I went with a 205 40. It's just enough stretch to where I'm hoping and praying that they will clear the fenders without much rubbing. Tires are done. Okay, so I made one more correction and it works perfect now. Look at this. You might not be able to see it, but I shaved down this little piece right here so that this wheel can fold back further this way. It wouldn't be able to fold back this far, but since we lowered it, I now needed to do that so that I could fold it in to make it useful for low cars. So boys, we freaking did it. And the nice thing is this is still gonna be functional for regular cars because I can lift this up, but this is exactly how it should have been done. If you make these, take note, boys. <laughs> I've got the rears rolled. Let's go ahead and set her down. I know the rear, the rear actually fits, at least this side rear fits really well. All right, okay. We are on Miata's weight. Oh, the front could be so lower, dude. But we should probably go easy on Jaren for the first little while. Just a roll on the front would do well, but I am gonna pull it out quite a bit. Oh, look at the rear fitment, bro. That's freaking money! I pulled out the rear a decent amount. We're probably a quarter inch or a half inch wider in the rear now because of that pull. And this side looks like I could probably do a little bit more pulling. It also looks like it just needs an alignment. I need a little bit more negative camber and it actually looks like this side's not as low as the other. So I, def I definitely got some, uh, some suspension adjustment to do for sure. But yeah, if you look at the fronts, like the fronts actually won't need a a whole lot to pull out. With the skirts on, this thing's gonna look mad. Jaren doesn't know that I'm lowering it for her again. But what kind of brother would I be if I let her ride around monster trucking, dog? I'm gonna lower it two spanner lengths, which is significant. It's lower than it was. I'm not gonna be outrageous with it. Once she gets a little more practice with driving a really low car around, we can lower it more all day long. But for now, <laughs> <laughs> how, how low it's about to be will be fine. <laughs> Listen, something I've learned over the years. It don't really matter how you do it. It don't matter how you get your car to look good. If it looks good in the end, cool. I ain't gonna judge you. If you had to use some weird method to get it there, it is what it is, bro. Car looks good. I ain't hating on it. This, because the fender pulled out, buckled a little bit, I had to hammer it back in. But, uh, you know, not everybody can do this whole thing. Like, I've been building cars on YouTube for years. This is the first time in my life I've been able to fabricate something to make something like this work. I would have had to do it a weird way before too. So next time you see somebody doing some weird stuff you don't like to their car, it don't matter, it's just not your car. When the wrecked side actually looks better than the freaking OE side, dude. That, that's a, probably the best roll I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> dude, Jaren got that fitment, boy. Oh, so the amazing thing is there will be no rubbing at all. I chose this exact spec because I wanted to stay stock body without having to do too much suspension work. For those of you who do like stancy stuff, you, you know that like when you start needing enough negative camber, you gotta start buying a whole bunch of stuff. Like even roll center adjusters, sometimes you have to shorten your spindles like this car. I have to, for just my front suspension alone, I have to have upper and lower control arms, shortened spindles and roll center adjusters for the fronts. 
haven't installed them yet, so that's why it doesn't look like it's fitty. But I am actually incredibly impressed at the fitment. It looks, it looks good, it feels good. That should be high enough to where she's not gonna destroy everything. That bumper's probably not gonna last very long, but she's not gonna have any really annoying rubbing or anything. This fender was a little weird. These rear fenders on these are very hard to roll, and um, it kind of gave me a little bit of trouble. The other side actually did really good, and that's why I was saying earlier that, uh, of course, the side that was wrecked actually probably looks better than anything else. Once I get the skirts on, like this fitment's gonna look absolutely freaking phenomenal. But I do need to fix the e-brake first, and uh, I, I'm gonna go ahead and recheck the alignment before we get off of here. Here we go, got kinda lucky here. Almost zero toe in the rear. You have just a little bit of toe in, but that never hurts, so we're good there. And I currently lost, I currently accidentally goofed the front, but we're a quarter of a centimeter in on the front. So a little bit of toe in here, a little bit of toe in there, we're all good. I'm gonna make sure everything's tightened up and fix that e-brake. Okay, well I was about to adjust the e-brake and I told myself, let me just check something real quick. Let's look at the pads. I think I know why this lady might have gotten in a wreck. Cause her freaking pad is non-existent. Look at that. Never seen that in my life. What the hell? Who's, <laughs> who's woman's? Somebody come get your woman's, bro. Oh my God. Yes, it actually was a woman that owned this car before me, so shut up. I ain't being sexist. Bro! That's like beyond, that's beyond bad. Later. All right, Jaren, car's not gonna run today, sorry. But, so here's what normal brake pads are supposed to look like, right? You see how that's like, it's got a lot of stuff that they can wear out over time. Yeah. See this stuff that wears down right there? That's the pad. Mm -hmm. This is what this is what she was riding on. <laughs> but that actually wasn't the problem, guys. <laughs> Found out the issue. The caliper is completely seized. The piston will not go back in. I even tried using my 20 ton press and the piston would not go back in. So gotta buy our caliper, fix it, then we'll be done. Probably gonna hold these boys. Now that I'm thinking about it, my Miata did this too. And I had to replace the caliper as well. Dude, I'm so excited for this thing to be done. Look how clean it is, man. A little bit of uh, overspray got in from the clear coat, I think, from the wrap, so I gotta clean that up. But dude, the engine bay, the, the freaking wrap, the wheels, and now, look, we got a fully functional, entirely new <laughs> rear brake caliper and pads. So I'm gonna get Victoria in here to bleed the brakes and we'll get this thing down and off the lift for good. Until I secretly boost it one day when she leaves it over here. Crap, that's the first time seeing it on the ground stanced up like with the body kit on. Dude, let's open this. Oh man, that's amazing, man. This thing was wrecked. This thing was wrecked. Wow. All right, let's pull this baby out. That's such a, what a shift knob, dude. Got to make sure I torque the lug nuts down before I go, but boys, we did it. Jaren's Miata is officially basically just finished. Honestly, I'm actually not upset at all with this fitment. I was hoping that it wouldn't be too high up, but this is gonna be perfect for an 18 year old girl that hasn't driven around like a stanced car before. This is like the best fitment I think I've ever done on any car and it's not even mine. This is one of the coolest transformations and one of the coolest cars I think I've built. And it's literally my sister's. <laughs> Dude, honestly, this is one of the coolest cars that's ever come out of my garage. I love you, Jaren, and I uh, wanted to do something sick for you. She's a great sis, and I, man, I, I put 100% of my effort into this, and I think it's like... <laughs> Dude, I'm literally like speechless. This is awesome. All right, we made it out of my driveway, which my R33 can't do. So we're already making pretty good progress. Wheels a little sideways. It'd be like that sometimes. Definitely could use a little bit more love on the on the lift for the alignment, but uh, it's, you know, as we saw, it was close enough. <laughs> Thank you.
Gotta break in these brakes a little bit, so we're gonna... All right, roast them. Drives really well, aside from the fact that you gotta turn the wheel the whole time. E-brake might need a little bit more adjustment still, or the rear pads just need to get a little bit more bedded, but this car's insane. I can't believe this thing turned out so good. Guys, like, this car was wrecked, man. I can't wait for Jaren to see it, and I'm so, I'm definitely bummed that she couldn't, like, see it off the lift for the first time, but the, honest, dude, <laughs> the fit, I'm, 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 I'm incredibly happy with the fitment, dude. Like, stock body with fenders pulled, and uh, not even super aggressive. I mean, like, the car's pretty low. That's, that's definitely considerably low. I've already tested out its full potential of rubbing issues. I got in and out of a driveway down there that was, like, really rough. The rear fitment is actually pretty money. Pretty nice, I pulled it pretty nicely. Oh, definitely got a rear tail light I gotta fix. Dude, how cool. This entire side of the car was crushed. I'm so happy with how this is turning out. Now I get to give it to her and she gets to do her own little mods and have fun there. She's obviously done a few things here and there. It's pretty cool that we turned an old, crusty, dusty, wrecked Miat into probably one of the coolest Miatas ever and on somewhat of a budget. Oh boy, this is the cruise missile. Cruise missile incoming, dude. This is the whip, bro. I, I couldn't even imagine whipping this thing around and just vibing, dude. This is awesome. Speedy McGee over here, too. Well, guys, this isn't the end of the Miata build, but it's the end of the restoration and bringing it back to life. Very thankful for our sponsors, for one, Heritage Wheel, Zor for coming to our house, also Get Dipped Services for the liquid wrap on the car. Can't forget our boys at Corbeau who sent us the custom office chair as well. JDM Buyer for the hard top, who is also who we're picking up the next giveaway car from. Mishimoto for the lugs and my sweaty, bleeding hands as well. <laughs> I knew this car would turn out good. After seeing what it was compared to how it is now, it, it is nice to actually see a lot of planning and a lot of effort into wheel specs, just fixing all of the little things on the car. The last thing I need to do is just get her some plates, get it registered, because this thing is no longer salvage title. It's officially rebuilt. Next video, we will let her have it, let her rip, and uh, get her learning how to drive stick in her Miata. <laughs> wow. Every video that I make, I give you guys life advice. What I'm gonna lay on you today is important. What I wanna tell you today is there's nothing wrong with having zero tolerance for negativity or having zero tolerance for the people that you know will personally just drag you down. Unfollow, block, remove from your life all of the people that are constantly dragging you down. There's probably friends of yours that are keeping you at the bottom and you don't even know it. And the reason why is because they're always negative. For me, I do enough, I see enough. If, if somebody's constantly bothering me, somebody's constantly negative, something or someone comes into my life and all they bring is negativity, it's an easy block, that's an easy removal. That is like, get out of here. I just wanna encourage you guys today and let you guys know that there is nothing wrong with having zero tolerance for that kind of thing. And really what I mean by that is don't feel bad if you've got to unfollow or if you've got to block. Like, it's your mental health. Your mental health is the most important here. Not what they think about you and not how they care about you. Guys, I will catch you next video. Have an amazing day. Peace. Hey! By the way, I got two videos right in front of you. What you should do is watch one of the two or both. Also, subscribe. Make sure you are subbed and those notifications are on. I'm going to sit here and stare at this Miat.